In today's video, we're going to take a look at creating a symbol using the AutoCAD Electrical Symbol Builder. Now, what this allows us to do is, is add a symbol that you would normally bring in from, say, for instance, the icon menu, and put in all the, the attributes that you need for it, things like catalog, manufacturer, installation code, description 1, 2, 3, etc. So, what do we need to create this as a symbol that we can use in AutoCAD Electrical? So under your schematic tab on the right hand side, you'll see the symbol builder. Select that and it brings up the select symbol object dialog box. Now what we're going to first do is just select the objects that are going to partake in this symbol as well as the insertion points. So I'll just click on the end over here. And then under the symbol, you can see that I can horizontal um, parent or child, vertical parent or child, horizontal terminal or vertical terminal, as, in, as well as a panel footprint, nameplate and a terminal. I'm going to make this a horizontal parent and the type I'm going to make is generic but if I click on this you'll see there I can go and put in other types circuit breakers control relays disconnect switches fuses latching relays etc um, for the you know for the sole intent purposes of this I'm just going to use generic it gives me a preview and I click on OK now what it does it opens up the next part of the uh, the process it looks very much like the um, your block uh, editor because you can see the kind of gray um, and it is actually the block editor you'll see the block editor over there plus also your symbol builder over here now the symbol builder if you take a look at this on the ribbon is showing us kind of a symbol audit so you can just test if you know everything you've got is here so if I click on symbol order it'll tell me there are 13 errors found so I haven't put in any of these attributes which is what's sitting over here. So it's telling me that I can't really continue or this is not going to actually work because I haven't put in these require, required uh, elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into my drawing and click and you'll see there it will put a little tick there because it's now saying that all of this information which is required to create a generic uh, symbol uh, or generic what horizontal parent um, is now sitting inside my block over here. If I click on symbol audit, you'll see there that missing required attributes, nothing, so it's okay. So now, okay, so insertion point, okay, that's what I need to do. So with insertion point, if I just scroll down to the bottom over here, you'll see I've got my wire connection. Now with the wire connection, if I click on this drop down, you'll see I've got left, top, bottom, right, radial. Now because it's horizontal, I'm going to need left and I'm going to need right. So this is where the wires are going to come into the symbol. So I'm going to click on left and oh, where's left and then I'm going to say insert wire connection and then I'm going to select on the end points over there and then I'm going to go to right select insert and select on the right hand side over here. Okay so let's go to symbol audit again. Okay now everything is okay so I'm good to go. So once this is done over here, okay, I can go click on done. It asks me just to check, are you happy with this? As well as telling me what the unique identifier is, because it's got to save it as a block somewhere on your, um, your hard drive. So it's going to have a unique name, tells you where it's going to be saved. And then for your image, it also tells you where the image is going to be saved. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to select OK. And what I like to do over here is I like to say yes, because at least then I know that it is in over here. Okay. And it works because my insert edit component dialog box has come up. I can put my description one, two, and three. Test one, two. And you'll see that if I click on OK, it starts to populate my um, my component with the uh, attributes that I've selected with my symbol builder. Okay. Now, if we want to take this into the icon menu, okay, we are able to open up the icon menu over here, and then we can say add a component. So with that component over there, I can go and pick. I'm going to select that over there. So what it does, it picks up that image file name. Okay, and the name is going to be, uh, let's just go 
RE1. Okay, the block name to insert, select, select my block. Okay, once that's done, click on OK. And then you'll see it'll add it to my icon menu under just the top. So if I'd created another uh, folder or something, I would have put it into over there. So I go OK. And now this is ready for me to be able to place in from my icon menu. So select icon menu, and then you can see there's my block over there. Select it, allows me to put in all my information, and there we go. And you'll see there that it's already, there's one and there's two. So it's already starting to count up because I've already created one of these in over here. Okay, yes, it has doubled in size, but if I go to my icon menu, you'll see that the scale schematic is two. I should have actually had that as one. Now when I place it, it's the same size as the original one over there. And that's how you create your own symbol and put it in the icon menu. Thanks very much for watching.